everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I will be doing a sit down video. Finally, I haven't done a sit down video in so long because university has consumed my life, which is really, really sad because I love just sitting down and talking to the camera. And although I have been vlogging every single week, it's just still really nice to just sit down and chat to you guys. And what better way to do it than by filming a top seven video. A top seven is my version of a monthly favorites video and I just pick my favorite thing from each of the seven categories and um, since I missed April as well, I didn't do an April top seven. I kind of have a few favorites for some of the categories because I just have too many things that I need to tell you about and I could not confine it to one thing. So let's get started. I have two makeup favorites and the first is the Mary Luminizer. I can't believe I have gone this long without owning it. It is by the Balm, it is a highlighter and it is just such an incredibly beautiful highlighter. I totally underestimated how beautiful it was until I was given it for my birthday from my friend Skay and now I don't know why I ever want so long without it because it is absolutely beautiful. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. It is just incredible. And my second favorite is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. I went to six targets to try and find my shade in the Chi Chi Brow Pomade and it took me six times to find it. My shade is soft brown in case you were wondering and apparently it's a really popular shade because no one ever seemed to have it. But I finally found it and I'm so glad that I did because this has changed the eyebrow game for me so much. I've never tried the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade or anything like that so this is the first pomade sort of product that I have ever tried for my brows. and. I am obsessed with it. I don't really like my eyebrows. They are very, very, very uneven. And I feel like if I try to make them look even somewhat even, they just look fake and it just looks stupid. But this makes them look so much better than they have ever looked. And although they are by far not the greatest eyebrows, and I'm not very good at doing eyebrows, so please forgive me for that, but it just makes them look so much better than I've ever been able to make them look before. I used it today for my brows. I've been using it every single time I've been doing my brows. And I'm also wearing Mary Lou today. As you can see, that beautiful shade on my face. I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I love this so much. Fashion favorite for the month. The first one is my beautiful Mimco pouch. I received this for my birthday as well and it is just like the best thing ever. I feel like I'm saying that with everything but but of course I'm going to think all of these things are my favorites because they're in my favorites video. But this is one of the medium pouches from Mimco. I had one of the like mini ones and I absolutely loved it but having a bigger one is so great because I can chuck my car keys in it, I can chuck my phone in it, I can chuck envelopes and all random things in it like pens and stuff and everything just fits like you'll be surprised how many things you can fit in this pouch and this little wristlet strap is one of the handiest things ever because when I'm shopping I like to like go through all the clothes and stuff but I can just slide it on my wrist put my phone and my car keys in it and then I have both hands free to like look through the clothes or the shoes or whatever I'm shopping for but oh my goodness this is a lifesaver and it just is so Cute! I love it so much. I think it is adorable. Miscellaneous favorite of the month. I have two and they're kind of similar. So the first one is my pink fluffy bathrobe. I haven't had a fluffy robe in years and as it's been getting colder here as we're getting closer to winter I've been using this more and more. It is so nice to just hop out of the shower and put this on because you feel like you're literally just wrapped up in a blanket or just like getting out of bed in the morning when it's still a little bit chilly and when I like to go and read my bible or just like make some breakfast or something but I haven't had a shower and got ready for the day yet I'll just like put this over my pajamas and I feel like I'm in a cloud. It is so Great! And the second one is similar, and you might be like, isn't that the exact same thing? But no, this is a fluffy blanket. This is from Kmart, and it is the softest blanket I have ever felt, ever. I think it was about $22, but if you went to any like bedding stores or homeware stores, these sort of blankets are so incredibly expensive. And sometimes the cheaper ones aren't as soft or as warm, but this one is crazy warm. It comes in this color, which is like a pinky color. It also comes in black, and I don't know if it comes in any other colors. I put it on my own bed, or I put it on my couch when I'm just like chilling out, watching some YouTube, or I just wrap myself up in it, and it's just, just the best thing ever. I actually haven't been listening to that much like charts 
sort of music. I have been listening to a lot, a lot, a lot of worship music. It's just kind of like my default now. So if you want to listen to worship music, my main favorites have been Oh Come to the Altar, Sinking Deep by Hillsong Young and Free, and Call Me Higher by All Sons and Daughters. But I think I've talked about most of those in my favorite worship songs video. But as for non-worship music, I have been obsessed with I Spy. This song really reminds me of the song Broccoli, if you've heard that one. And these songs both just get me really like hyped up and I just feel like I want to dance to them. But I'll play a little bit for you guys. I ain't been getting high. Well, maybe a little baby, I don't want to lie. A curly head, a cutie, I could turn and tell my wife. Hate that means forever, ever, or never mind. Oh, I uh, spy with my little light. I just really like it because it's just such a fun and upbeat song and I really like songs like that. And another song that I've been really enjoying is called Forgive Me Father. I'll link all of these songs down below. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this song. I think it's so cool. I don't even know why I like that one so much. I just think it's a really good song. Favorite YouTuber of the last couple of months has been Kristen Johns. She's an American YouTuber. She recently just got married and her and her husband are so cute. They also recently adopted a tiny little puppy. Actually, he's not that tiny. He's a golden retriever, so Georgia Woodford. You need to check out her videos because you would fall in love with her puppy. Its name is Camper, and it's just like the cutest puppy ever, and they're just, oh my God. And I just think she is the sweetest person I've ever seen. Like, you see her, and she's like an angel, I swear. I, I can't imagine her doing anything wrong or saying anything mean about anyone, and she's just so sweet and kind and I love watching YouTubers who are just like promoting a good message and she's not even like trying to promote a really good message or anything like it just comes through in her personality in her videos like she doesn't sit down and make videos about how you should live your life or whatever but you see how she lives her life well I see how she lives her life and I'm just like I want to be like that I want to be that kind to people I want to love people the way that she loves people and I am just obsessed so if you want to check out her channel I'll also leave that down below number six is favorite event of the month and since I'm combining like April and May together in one monthly favorite video. Of course, April, I had my 19th birthday and that was literally just the perfect day. The perfect day. And I absolutely love that day. I feel so, so blessed every time I think about my birthday because my friends and my family are just the best people ever. So that was probably my favorite like day event. And finally, number seven is going to become my favorite Bible verse of the month. And I know not all of you want to hear about this, so that's totally fine. You can leave this video here but a lot of you guys requested this when I asked you guys what I should make as my last topic for my top seven because I kind of changed some of them around and so I'm gonna share a couple of my favorite verses with you guys that I've read during this month let me see the favorite is Psalm 63 verses 1 to 5 oh God you are my God I earnestly search for you my soul thirsts for you my whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself, how I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. I have so many favorites, but I'll just give you guys one more. And this is also in Psalms, but it is in Psalms 30 and it's verses 11 and 12. And it says, you have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy, that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. And on that note, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys did enjoy this top seven. Give me a comment down below telling me what your favorite for the month of May has been. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.